In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up a hyped it download gate. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Graham Farmer from Data Transmission, and today we're going to talk about download gates, how you use them, what we use them for, and how to set up one using hyped it. So let's dive into the computer, and I'll show you how I do it and what I do. So, what is a download gate? Firstly, a download gate allows you to get something for your mix or track. In this case, I'm going to show you what to do with a track, but I use them for mixes all the time. Uh, the numbers are a lot lower on mixes because a lot of people just stream mixes or you listen to them on Spotify or you listen to them on SoundCloud and don't really download them anymore. But I still use them on mixes because I get maybe 10 or 15 per mix and those add up over a whole year or over three years, four years, five years. And it still adds up to, you know, for me, because I'm because I'm doing mixes every week, thousands of thousands of new followers. The big one though is tracks and free download tracks. So let's dive into the computer and this is my my new track. So this is my new track on our new techno tra channel called Nude. Go to uh, soundcloud.com forward slash nude techno and Essentially, we're going to set up the download gate is already running for this, but I'm going to show you what I did and I'm going to talk you through how I did it. So, firstly, this is uploaded the track to SoundCloud. Done. Uh, make sure you've got down, make sure in your in your editing SoundCloud, you've got this is really important. You've got downloads switched off. You don't want to use SoundCloud's download, it doesn't do much for you. And using a download gate such as hypedit.com that will help you build that free download and help you grow the, the release on SoundCloud. Essentially what a download gate does is it makes the user give you their email address, it makes the user follow you on SoundCloud, it makes you repost the track which is really important. The repost function is the, one of the best functions on SoundCloud still so if you've got 10 reposts on, on your track and each one of those has got 100 followers, that's a thousand new people you're gonna hit by gonna potentially listen to your track. And therefore they might download it and they might download it and then they're, they're, as because they're using the download gate, that could then lead to another 10 and with another 100, so it's another thousand. So it's growing the track all the time. The real beauty of a download gate. So how what do I have to do? The first thing, log into hypedit.com and create your account. I'm gonna put the link in the card and, and the information below. Uh, and just quickly, simply click share music. Then I'm going to say select download gate. And then in here, I'm going to copy my link and I'm going to paste it in here. Now, this is a SoundCloud gate, but you, as you can see, you can also do ones for YouTube, Spotify, and even Mixcloud. The Spotify one works really well, and so does the YouTube one. Then I'm going to choose the genre. So this is techno and then I'm going to upload my file and choose my file from my browser so in here uh, techno here's the file perfect whilst that's uploading I'm going to let that fly and it's going to start uploading I'm then going to choose, go into title it's going to pull that from SoundCloud so that's good and it's going to pull the design from SoundCloud as well. The next thing for me, the real big thing is the gate steps. So for me, I'm always going to collect the email address. I always, I always want an email address for stuff that's coming from SoundCloud uh, and users that are coming from SoundCloud. Basically, that means I can, um, for every download, they're going to, I'm going to get an email. And then the next time I want to contact these people, so say I've got another download from, my, from this artist, I can then email them uh, with a different type of download gate. And I'll set up multiple download gates for for releases, depending on where the users are coming from. These users are coming from SoundCloud, so I want to capture the email, and they're essentially new users to me. I want to capture the email, and on sound, the SoundCloud step, I want to follow the profile, I want to comment on the track, I want to like the track, and then, like I said, a repost. And this is going to be for this profile and this track, but I'm also going to add in the artist for me because this is I'm obviously from a from a channel point of view. I want to help grow these artists and I want them to follow my main channel which is Data Transmission. And that's essentially it. That's all I want them to do. I don't want to do all these other steps, not on this one. 
I'm going to choose next. I'm going to choose yes. Oh, I don't. I'm going to choose yes. And I'm going to choose next. And then I'm going to choose uh, something else that I've uploaded. And in this case, it'd be a mix. And then I'm going to hit create. And then that is going to create my download gates. And what it does, once you hit create, is it connects to SoundCloud. And on SoundCloud, it adds in this little free download here. Or if you've not got the pro account, it adds in the word buy. Uh, and if you go into the meta, you can see where it's added it. So in your buy link, it's added the hyped it link and the free download title. So what that's going to, and then what happens then is when the user wants, if the user, if someone wants to download this track, they click on free download. It takes them back to hyped it. And there's the track. Uh, so they say download. They have to give their name and email. They also then have to connect their SoundCloud and it runs through the process before giving them the free track. Going back to my dashboard here, you can see my download gates. So this, so, so far this one, I've had 104 vidits. I've captured 29 emails. And on Hyped It, there's a chart. There's, tech, there's charts per genre. And this one's number 28 in the techno chart. As you can see above it, I've also got a separate download gate, which is great, which is because this track's also on Spotify. Uh, this is a Spotify download gate, and this one's a this one I'm driving through some other channels, and it's up to number four in the techno chart. And it's a 374, 373 visits and 107 forwards. So yeah, I'm growing different gates, different things. So the next time I release a, tr a track from Crossbow, what I'll do is I'll email all these people. I'll have a separate gate that's just SoundCloud and Instagram. And then I'll convert th these email addresses into more SoundCloud plays and Instagram followers. And then, and then carry it on and carry on growing all the channels from different download gates from multiple releases. So as you can see, super powerful piece of kit. Uh, you can see from, from my dashboard, I, I, on this channel I've got 354 download gates. I've had 142,000 fan visits. And I've, I've grown 2,000 2, in the last seven days. 2,000 users in the last seven days across my download gates. And I've added totally 41,000 fans. That's mega. Um, and the more you, more, the more you, more longer you use it, the more you carry on using it, the more gates you go. And the gates, the gates still get users and still get downloads are over time because they just stay there and they just stay active. And more people find them and then it grows your channels really, really organically over a nice time period. Hope that made sense to you. Let me know if you have any problems. Let me know if you need any more help in the comments. I'll be in there, jump in and put your, put your problems or if you have issues, let me know. Uh, if you have questions about download gates, put them in the comments too and I'll, and I'll answer them. Hope you found this useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Please give it a share. Share it with your other DJ friends that need it. And I'll see you again next time. See you soon, bye.